Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th, 2021. I hope everybody is doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore is not going to resonate with everyone. Um, if you would like a personal private reading, the directions are in the box beneath this video. Simply email me and I will be happy to help you. I do hope you've subscribed to the channel because when you do so, it does throw your energy in with the rest of us and that will make it a little easier for me to pick up on your story. Speaking of stories, please do not make a story try to fit you if it is not your story. Um, if it is your story, be, be aware that energies can flip-flop, roles can reverse, and so simply take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. So Aquarius, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull your energy, I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connecting with, and then the energy of the connection, even if you're not communicating with that person, then we'll get an outcome. At the end of the uh, reading, I will also pull some lover's oracles just to kind of finalize it and also to see if there's any further messages. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aquarius, please? Aquarius. All right, so you start out with the Five of Cups. The Four of Swords. And the Three of Cups. So Aquarius, it looks like you are in a period of healing after something that was a little painful. Um, I feel as if there was a situation where um, you may have either left someone out in the cold or you felt left out in the cold. It feels more like you, you felt a little abandoned here. Um, and so it left you feeling pretty sad and, and pretty hurt. Um, I do feel like you are now in a period of healing and looking forward to, you know, kind of moving back out into um, dating again. Um, for some of you, for some of you, you may be hoping for a reconciliation with this person. But I do think that, you know, healing is taking place. And I, I see a direct progression from this, you know, the, it's almost picture perfect, you know, moving through these stages. So there's a breakup. There's a feeling of abandonment, a feeling of sadness, a feeling of pain and hurt into the healing um, and recovery. And then from the healing and recovery, either, you know, reconnecting with friends and, you know, getting back into the dating scene or reconnecting with this person. It's, just, it's like a perfect progression here, Aquarius. Let's look at the person that you're dealing with. Let's see their energy. All right. Okay, so they have the Death card, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands in the reverse, and Temperance in reverse. Okay, so I feel as if, you know, we see a similar thing with the person you're connecting with here. Um, in that we see the ending of the connection with the death card. So, you know, a mirroring energy here. Then with the nine of pentacles, we see this person becoming very independent, working upon themselves, focusing upon their, their money, and, you know, basically becoming extremely independent and abundant in and of their own right. Um, standing on their own two feet, being extremely independent. Um, whereas the mirroring energy for you, you kind of went into a recovery mode emotionally. They really focused on, you know, themselves in a more of an outward manner, whereas you focused on yourself in an inward manner. Um, and now we see you focusing on yourself in an outward manner, whereas with this person, um, what I'm seeing here is that they have not really focused upon their healing, and they still need healing. I also feel like... Um, so we see temperance in reverse, um, also a need for balance. I don't feel like this person is emotionally balanced right now. And with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, I do feel like they, um, you're not speaking with this person or they're not speaking with you at this time um, for most of you. And I do think that that is because emotionally they're not very balanced right now and they are in need of healing. It's almost like you did the work, 
you went within and did the work. Now you're reemerging and ready to get out into the world. Whereas this person kind of went out into the world and neglected their emotional healing. And so now they have to focus on that, whereas you're out in the world. So um, let's see what is the energy of the connection. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Nine of Cups. So I do feel like there will be some kind of communication. Um, I do think it will have to do with, um, basically there's going to be some communication. It could be in an argumentative way. Be aware of that um, with the Knight of Swords because that can come across as being very cutting and can be very sharp. Um, also keep in mind that that is air energy. So Aquarius, it might be you. However, it looks like the energy is more moving in your direction. So it could be either party really. Um, and I do think that once this um, energy, this, this communication happens, I do think that both parties are going to be happy about it. It's going to be, um, I think you both want that. I think you're both hoping to have this communication actually. So what is affecting this communication, or what is affecting the connection? Yeah, you're both wanting to have this communication. You both have things you want to say to each other. Oh, the moon. Yeah. So what's affecting the the um, the relationship is the moon. So, you know, there's things that neither of you really know. There's things that are unknown. Things that neither of you know about the other. Yeah. Okay, so what is the outcome at the end of the week? Okay, so we have the King of Swords. And we have the Magician in Reverse. Okay, so by the end of the week, it looks like Aquarius. We're going to see you kind of seated in your power here. But, um, you know, kind of being strategic, trying to, um, you know, trying to approach this connection here from a, a position of power. But yet at the same time, I think you're going to be feeling a little frustrated, like you're not really able to to make this happen the way you want to. You're going to try to approach it very strategically which does not surprise me because, you know, Aquarius, you're, you're a very intellectual sign. You're, you're an air sign. And so I, I feel like you're very strategic in a lot of things that you do, very intellectual. But I, I feel like you're going to have a sense of frustration that as if you don't quite have all the pieces that you need in order to really approach this relationship. Like you may be feeling like you're a little bit in the dark about some things. And you can't quite put this together. So, you know, that's that's interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Wands. So I do think that there is going to be movement in this um, connection. Somehow I feel as if this, um, this is a connection that perhaps you guys may not have spoken or been in contact with each other. Or if you have, I do feel like there's just a lot that's unknown between the two of you. I think there's going to be communication, and I think that this is going to kind of progress forward. Some of you might be at a distance from each other, and if that's the case, I also feel like there might be um, some travel that's involved. But I do feel like there's, regardless, there's going to be movement in this connection, okay? And I do also think that both of you want that. And I can tell you for sure, Aquarius, both of you um, are really hoping to have communication, both of you. All right, so let's start clarifying. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands and you have the Six of Wands. So you're wanting to be victorious over this. Um, you want to... You want to say that you made it through this, um, and I, I believe that that you you will. I, I feel like you know this was a big obstacle for you, Aquarius. I think this was extremely painful, but I think that you kind of overcame that, and you know you're kind of like this wounded warrior. We call this the wounded warrior card with the nine of wands. I feel like this was extremely painful for you, 
and that you've kind of been able to overcome this and you know you've kind of put a lot of this behind you you've you've overcome it and i think that you know you've done your healing here why is the four of swords here okay so we have the page of cups in reverse and we have the six of swords yeah, so you healed from it. Um, when the love was withdrawn, you just you had to move forward. So you moved away from this pain, and you know you it did have an effect. You you it hurt your heart. You kind of closed your heart down a little bit, um, but you moved away from this, and you moved into a better area of your life. You healed yourself. So I do believe that you have had a victory over this. Um, why is the Three of Cups here? Justice in reverse and strength. Yeah, you felt very wronged. I can tell that you, um, it took a lot for you to get past this, to get through it. I think that you may have, um, you, you felt extremely wronged in this situation. You felt like, you felt helpless. You felt like this was not something that you had any control over. And I think it took a lot for you to get through this. But you were able to do so. You have healed. You have moved forward in your life. And now you're starting to feel joy again. And so I do feel, Aquarius, that you you have found victory over this situation. And now along comes <laughs> the individual, right? But Aquarius, even if you say you don't, the cards tell me that you also want to hear from this person. So um, let's look at their energy, okay? It wouldn't be in your reading if, if you didn't, okay? So why is the death card in, in their energy? All right, so we have the sun. We have the queen of swords. And we have the queen of wands. Oh, so this person may have had a choice between two. Um, so you are a air sign. So they may have had a choice between you and a queen of wands, which would have been a fire sign being a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. Um, Leo, very prominent here with the sun and the uh, queen of wands. So, um, yeah, well, also Sag. So, um, yeah, it could have been, yeah, there may have been a choice here. So this person was, um, they, they may have made a choice. Or it could have also been for some of you that you had a choice um, and you chose to do, to do what made you happy, which was to cut out a fire sign. So for some of you, um, you, you felt that the fire sign that you were involved with or someone you were involved with um, was not making you happy. And so you cut, you cut them out. So it depends upon, um, there's two different stories there, but there was an ending in, in this connection here. For some of you, your person had a choice between two, and for others, um, you had a choice and you cut someone out in order to pursue your own happiness. For the majority, I felt like I feel like it was not you who cut the person out though. Um, but yeah, there... It's very clear there was an ending here. Now, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, and we have the Fool in reverse. So the relationship ended. The King of Pentacles in the reverse is basically an ending to a long-term connection or to a connection. Um, the King of Pentacles is the married king. And in the reverse, this would be somebody who is now unmarried or uninvolved. Um, and this person felt like a fool. So they kind of, um, once this relationship ended, they, they felt a little foolish as well. And I feel as if um, they kind of focused upon business and work and they kind of made themselves very strong and independent. 
they just moved forward. And I think that, like I said, their focus was fully outside of themselves. Whereas you went, you know, and did the healing work, they focused fully outside of themselves. Can I have three cards for the bottom energy? One more card. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, and there's that Nine of Coins again. So, yeah, this person never dealt with their um, sadness. They never dealt with the the pain of this, the ending of this connection. Instead, they focused on their money. They focused on the outside appearances. And they did make themselves very independent and very strong. But when the relationship ended, they never really dealt with the, the pain and the sadness. And so now they're in a situation where um, they're a little unbalanced and they still need healing because they're still sad. There's still a sadness in them. Um, so they're still in a position where they need healing. And they, they won't appear to look that way either, Aquarius. They're not going to look like that. They're going to look like they're happy as a clam. But that's not the case. Inside, they're like a, a wounded little boy or little girl um, because they're not fully healed. All right, so um, let's look at the connection. Can I have three cards for the connection? All right. So we have the Hierophant in reverse. The three of coins in the reverse and we have the eight of swords in the reverse so both of you want to talk to each other um, you want to talk about why things didn't work out <laughs> um, I do feel like um, there's gonna be a lot of posturing in this conversation if you haven't already had the conversation um, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of posturing, but there will be a discussion about why things didn't work out, how things didn't work out. Um, the I do feel like, Aquarius, that you are going to um, act like you do not want a, and you may not. Um, there's gonna, You're going to give the appearance of not wanting a commitment, and you may not. Um, some of you may not. Um yeah, because you are healed. I, I can tell you that. The cards are telling me that you are healed. Um, the person that you are connected with is going to give the appearance of not being um, affected by this. That is not true. Um, because they are not healed. So they are still affected by the this breakup. Um, so what I do see, though, is... So that's what you guys are going to discuss, and but if you haven't already, but what I see is affecting this is that you're both carrying secrets. You're both there's something you know that you, each of you are not really relating to the other. So let's see what the moon is. Why is the moon here? One more card. Okay, well, neither of you want conflict, and that's good. All right, so we have um, so we have the two of wands in reverse. We have the five of wands in reverse, and then we have temperance in reverse. So um, neither of you want conflict, and I don't think either party realizes that. Um, I do feel like you're having difficulty, Aquarius, choosing a new direction, and the person that you're dealing with is having difficulty healing. So they have temperance in reverse twice. So I feel like um, you're still looking back at this connection, Aquarius, even though you may not be um, realizing it or you may not be wanting to admit it. Um, I do think you're looking back at it. Now, does that mean you want to jump back into it? I, no. Some of you might, but, um, you know, most of you have moved forward. But you're still looking back at it, and it is having an effect on you. And I do feel like, um, for some of you, it's, it's kind of holding you back from moving in a new direction. Um, for the, the cross-watcher, the person that you're involved with here, Aquarius, um, 
they also don't want conflict. Um, and I do feel like they're going to give off this appearance of not really, you know, caring. Like, like they are, they don't want to give up their hand. They don't want to show you that they, um, have been basically, you know, sabotaging themselves. They're unhealed. And because they're unhealed, this connection, um, it keeps coming up in their mind. It keeps coming up. They keep thinking about it. They keep going over and over this connection in their mind. Now, that's not to say that they want to come back into this connection either, because I'm not seeing that either. Um, neither of you am I seeing that you want to come back into the connection, but I do feel like it's causing an issue for you to move forward. It's causing them, they're not healed from it, and so that's causing them to not um, move forward. And both of you are trying to present to the other that you're fine. But neither of you are completely over it. Now, the end of the week, um, let's get the, the clarification on the end of the week. One more, please. Okay. We have the Hermit in reverse. The Knight of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, that's good. So you start out with the Knight of Swords in the upright. You end with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So if there is conflict, if there is a um, arguing um, with this, I do feel like you'll work that out. And that's, that's positive. Um, I do feel like you'll feel satisfied. You'll feel as if you have come up with some answers. And um, I do feel like that's going to help you feel as if you are more in charge of your life. So that's very positive. Um, for the person, the cross watcher or person that you're involved with, Aquarius, um, I do feel like with the, the King of Cups here, again, the conflict will end uh, with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, and I feel like they um, are going to have some realization that they actually do have emotions for you, that they care about you. This is also going to help them to kind of open their heart up a little bit as well. Um, but I do think that they're going to be more so frustrated because um, I feel like they, they're going to understand that they failed to manifest this connection. So I do think, though, that it's going to open them back up a little bit. And I do think that they are going to realize that they actually do have real emotions for you. That they actually really do have love for you. Um, what I do like, though, is that we do see an end to the conflict. And you start with the Knight of Swords, which is somewhat of an argumentative type of thing. You both want to talk, but I do feel like you'll be able to work this through. And that may provide closure. So this may be all about closure for both of you, um, which would be a good thing. We do have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So that does indicate to me that um, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, although this is going to move forward, and I think move forward with communication, I don't see any kind of stability being brought into it. But who knows? For some of you, it might be, um, you know, after the conflict ends or the uh, perceived conflict, it could. So, but that's, that's not what I'm seeing here. I just, this almost looks like a closure. So let's look at the, um, the uh, or lover's oracle and see what we find. <laughs> that just was a, a mess. Let's take these though because this feels right to me. Where do you want them? Okay. Okay. So for you, Aquarius, it says friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So, yeah, that sounds like closure to me. That sounds as if you are reaching a point of closure with this connection so that you can move forward. For the person that you are connected to, it says, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Again, looks like a card of closure. And for the connection... Manifesting miracles. 
Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So you can never go wrong, um, both Cross Watcher and Aquarius, when you do follow the guidance of your heart here. So like I said, this looks a lot like a, a you know, coming back together and, and having some closure and winding up as friends. And, you know, that is a really good case scenario. So, you know, if the, if the reading does resonate with you, drop me a comment and let me know what's going on. Um, I do read all of your comments, so if you haven't already subscribed, um, please do so. Hit that like button, and until I see you next time, Aquarius, namaste.